play music, we, we go from whatever else is happening in our life into this other frame of mind. It's like another, another person emerges, you know, and that's, and that's a good thing. It's if music can take you away into this other body, you know, that, and, and you can feel it uh, and play against the time and, and, and swing it where there's a feeling of relaxation at the same time, then there's an emotive or emotion quality that, that would take place. Where it comes from, no one will ever know where deeply inside it comes from, but usually it speaks louder than words can, can it describe it. It's, uh, it. It goes beyond uh, explanation, but it's, it, if it touches the heart uh, of the audience, uh, that's that's more important. Your music speaks about identities and different cultures. How do things come together? Well, it's a long process of evolution. Uh, it always starts uh, with a seed of uh, something you hear on the radio, and then uh, you know it could be a combination of lessons. It could be a combination always of going to see different shows and absorbing the inspiration from the artists that you go to see. And uh, living outside of New York City, I had the proximity of going to a wide range of different cultural shows, since New York is extremely cultural and, you know, diverse, and, uh, so many different uh, world musics. Uh, so the, the absorption of this, the collection of records for inspiration, uh, the trying to uh, emulate some of your heroes and and then it's the musical taste that you have uh, along the way. Uh, uh, hopefully, they're good. They're good choices, you know. And then if they are, then you will uh, eventually develop uh, your own style. Is what you hope for, you know. You 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 have to start out trying to uh, emulate them or copy, and then through the process, you're, you're developing a unique style because you have so many different influences, not just one. The audience in, in Romania is uh, uh, particularly very in tune or very uh, uh, emotional, uh, 
about the music. I, I, I feel that they've followed the music for a long time and they're, they're aware of it, but they, they uh, react to it in a way that, that is uh, deeper than a lot of places. So it's, uh, it's a great uh, place to play because of their understanding of the, the emo emotion part of the music. So uh, we love coming here for that reason. music mean to you? Well, music means to me that, especially in these days when, when we are in a, perhaps in some ways, uh, very difficult times because of uh, what you see on the news of terrorism and all these things and, and uh, <clears throat> the amount of uh, things that we hear or life can be just plain very difficult in general. For most people, we struggle in life. And without music, we could die. And no one thinks about it. But what if there was no music in the life? If there was, if there was never any notes or any, any song, I think that civilization could, could possibly uh, go crazy, collapse, die. So music is, what it means to me is that it's, it's a necessity Culture is a necessity. Uh, cinema is a necessity. Art of any kind is, uh, is an extension of the possibilities of life outside of the norm, outside of what we go through. And it's a relief. And it's a, it's a time of which we can, uh, we can get away from. And, and so the necessity of it is, is huge, huge in terms of survival. keep doing this because I think that you know the music has uh, when when you can have an intellectual side to the music stimulating intellectually but also uh, not only connecting here but connecting here with some ranges of emotion then then you've, you've covered all the bases you've, you've achieved the highest goal let's say if you can get there and uh, and that's what I've always wanted to do as a composer, you know, because on the composing side, uh, I think there's been a nice evolution uh, where there's a lot more depth to the music. And uh, that's what we do.